Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this chain loop stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a super fun crochet stitch to work. It is quite plush, as you can see here. It has this shaggy top to it. And then on the back, it has a smooth double crochet look. It's an easy crochet stitch to work. And uh, today, to help you learn how to make it, I'm going to be using a little bit of the paint box cotton around yarn, and I'll be using uh, the color Dusty Lilac. As well, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook, and links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find the direct link to the free written crochet pattern, which is on my blog at Rich Textures crochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated with free uh, stitch tutorials every Sunday morning as well as free crochet patterns throughout the week. Now our stitch today is worked in rows so you're going to start by making a slip knot and you need to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain can have any number of stitches plus three and just keep in mind that the chain three at the beginning of the row does count as a double crochet stitch. So today for this tutorial I'm going to simply chain 20 chains. Once you've chained your foundation chain you're going to begin by working a double crochet stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and into that fourth chain, work one double crochet stitch, and then double crochet into each chain all the way across. Once you've worked a double crochet into the uh, fourth chain and then into each stitch all the way across, at the end of your row you're going to chain seven and turn your work. Your chain seven is going to count as your first loop stitch. What you're going to do for the next row, row two, you're going to continue working but in the back loops only. Of your stitches. So looking at the top of my stitch here, I see that there's two horizontal bars in the shape of a V. Your back loop only is that horizontal bar that's furthest away from you. So that's the stitch, that's the uh, place where you're going to insert your hook under that bar only. So once you've chained seven, you can then into the next stitch, working in the back loop only, work one slip stitch chain seven and slip stitch into the back loop only of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain seven and slip stitch into the back loop only of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. Once you've worked all the way across your row two, you can slip stitch into the top of your chain three and that can be worked under both loops. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work a row of double crochets. You should see all of the loops that are now on the side facing you. And our double crochets are going to be worked uh, in what's now the back loop, but it was the front loop. Um, so in the back loop of the last double crochet row. 
So it's the row two rows below. You have this uh, row of chain loop stitches, but we're going to be working in that back loop again of that double crochet row. So these horizontal bars here that are furthest away from you, they have the loops on one side, and then you just have this little bar across. That's where you're going to work your double crochet stitches. So skip that first stitch and then double crochet working under the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. At the end of that row three, you're going to chain seven and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two was your chain seven, then working in the back loop only, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain seven, slip stitch into the back loop only of the next stitch and repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end, you can chain three, turn your work, and then double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. Before long, you will have a nice plush piece of fabric such as this one here. And, uh, and that's all there is to working the chain loop stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch and you can leave it in the comments down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.